Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. Uh, this one's kind of special. Uh, this is considered the worst PS1 game in existence. So, uh, we're just going to hop into it as usual. Uh, I'm going to shut up because I believe there is a cutscene uh, coming up. Uh, I'm not going to reveal to you just yet what the... I'm just going to leave you in suspense. Uh, so, I'll see you when the cutscene is over. Alright, so if you guys haven't guessed it yet, uh, it's Bubsy 3D. Uh, uh, it is, uh, it's said to be the worst PS1 game, and I'm, <laughs> I'm fixing to show you why. Uh, obviously, uh, if you're looking here, the, there are six, uh, levels, three tiers, uh, of course, every time you go down a tier, it gets, uh, harder and harder to do. So, uh, uh, basically, you're trying to repair your sh your ship. You can beat the game without fucking getting all the the parts. And oh my god! Oh boy! All right, I gotta fix my screen because this is fucking awful. So, uh, this is how you turn left and right. Uh, I can use directional pads. Do what? I, I mean, I can use the analog stick, guys, like, and the directional pad. This is how advanced it was back then. 
But uh, obviously, you know, you can uh, you can look at the graphics here. It's pretty fucking bare bones. Uh, uh, it's talking. It's awful. Uh, I don't know how to turn the uh, fucking audio settings down on this. So hopefully it's right. Hopefully it's just right. So, um, so the point of the game is to uh, collect the atoms. And I used to play this game was I, I, when I was a child. Uh, and if you'll notice, jeez, I got a scratch on my back, itch on my back. I got to itch my scratch. Uh, if you haven't noticed, when you jump, the camera faces downward. So I don't know what the fuck I'm jumping at, but. Also, you're, uh, when you when you run, he can he gains movement and he's he kind of slides a little bit, which is it's fine. It's just a, a gaming, uh, you know, just that's what they put in there, whatever. But I can't turn and run at the same fucking time. And if you do try, it you just you veer off, of course. You just I'll try it right here. Yep, yeah, there you go. It's he doesn't he hardly fucking turns. It's fucking awful. It's a wide ass turn, and he just keeps on fucking running. And I okay. So you can hold square when collecting the atoms. Uh, you can bounce them into each other. Uh, I think this is an extra life. Yeah, it's an extra life. Um, probably only gonna do like one level. I'm probably gonna only do the tutorial. Uh, believe it or not, I just got done playing Rayman, and, uh, for some odd reason, this game's not, uh, showing any frame, uh, frame rate issues that I can see. Uh, it's running pretty fucking smooth for a 3D game. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is basically it, guys. This is basically what you're fixing to go into. I'm gonna finish this fucking game. Not today, obviously, but, uh, because... You know, the last tier is the fuck. It is. It's fucked. All right. Like I know, I say it all the time. Everything is fucked. That the last tier levels, uh, the last six levels, they're fucked. Uh, you can get easily lost. Which you're like, what? You can get lost in the fucking PS1 game? Yeah, you can get lost. Um. Uh, I I actually, this was one of the games that uh, the file was all fucked up and didn't have any audio. And I'm hoping when I uh, record this and get done recording and review it, uh, it has the audio with it. Um, I think it was just the uh, the ISO file that I downloaded. But uh, I had problems trying to figure out how to glide, and it just turns out that I, I thought, like, basically all games, if you want to do something while you're jumping, you press X and then whatever fucking button you want. Now, you can jump regularly, and then you can uh, press triangle and hold it, and he'll glide. That's gonna be the worst, uh, I was gonna say fuck, cause fuck, but, uh, that's probably gonna be the worst challenge, uh, other than having, like, bullet hell, uh, issues, is, you, you, you get right on the edge of something, and either you slide off, or you go to jump and make the jump, and, uh, you don't make the jump, it just, you slide right down it, but, uh, this game has got a lot of fucking problems. I think I am experiencing some frame rate issues when he jumps. Yeah, I, I'm kind of. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but yeah, he's uh, having some problems jumping there, buddy. Whatever. Uh, it's slowing down. Why is it slowing down? It was going just fine. God damn it! All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm having frame rate issues, so I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna uh, beat the tutorial stage. I don't know how I I fucking hit that. Uh, he, the shit was in the way. Uh, yes, those clams they leave you mystery. Uh, they're like little mystery bonuses. Uh, you can uh, uh, collect them, and they give you some stuff. Sometimes uh, they damage you. It just it's all randomized because fuck you yes you can shoot these these are the woolies these are basically the main uh, threat in the game other than your bosses 
Uh, and if you hold uh, square down too long when you're holding an atom, it'll either blow up, or if you release it and it doesn't hit something, it will uh, it'll bounce back. It'll come right back at you and hurt you. I wonder if I can hit the checkpoint there. I can. That's not a checkpoint. This is the checkpoint. I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, yeah, there's no attack. Uh, you just jump and jump on top of enemies. I'm gonna have to fix this frame uh, frame rate shit. Because uh, this is awful. This is god awful. Can I can I hit that over there? Oh hell yeah! See that that's. See, that's a pretty good uh, combo there, and I, again, I don't have the fucking sound on, so uh, the sound that you're hearing is when it's charging up, uh, it'll reach a maximum point and then just blow up in my face, and the sound is generally how you know when it's going to do that, but uh, I'm just kind of guesstimating. Now, this little thing here is a telescope, and if I hadn't have destroyed the wall first, uh, it would have just shown me uh, the area of which the uh, rocket is, and that, like I said, that's the point of the the game is to collect all those rockets there's two per stage and uh... yeah that's basically it now i'm not supposed to touch the uh... black and uh... the checkered uh... floor it will bounce me back i'll show you oh yeah uh... epilepsy warning uh... just to throw that in there uh... you probably already had a seizure but uh... yeah there's lots of flashing lights in this game but as for this checkered floor Sorry, I had to spit in my mouth. Yeah, it just bounces you back uh, to like the very beginning of it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this uh, issue with the frame frame rates because this is god awful. No, I mean, yeah, it really wouldn't have mattered whether I, whether I touched it or not. And you collect 150 of these atoms in a stage, and obviously I'm not gonna fucking try to do that in every stage. Uh, you collect 150, you get a bonus stage, which so. I, you know, the frame rate starts going, it starts getting better, uh, when he starts actually running, but otherwise it's just complete shit. So, I don't believe I can destroy that wall with an atom, I think I have to hit the woolly. Oh, he moved, fuck that guy. Fucking piece of shit. I only got three chances here. Oh, I hit him, there we go, extra life. Uh... I'm gonna play a bunch of obscure games that you guys probably haven't heard of, or if you have heard of, you probably either can't get a can't get a hold of them, or you don't want to fucking get a hold of them because they're just god awful. Uh, one of my other games that I like to play uh, is uh, Intelligent Cube. Uh, that is apparently an extremely rare game. Yeah, I got a bonus round. Uh, it's apparently an extremely rare game. Uh, I'm—I think I looked up the value of it, and I'm pretty fucking sure it was somewhere around four hundred dollars. And my parents actually own it, so uh, that, that was a nice thing uh, to know. Told them not to get rid of it because it is worth money. And fuck these guys. I already got a—you know—I'll just show you. Like, it's hard to jump on top of them, but you gotta. You gotta like focus the shadow underneath Bubsy uh, you gotta like watch that shadow yeah I don't care about that this thing gives you uh, invincibility for 20 seconds so that's nice just run right through these little bastards so uh, rockets over there uh, this thing like these little uh, things that are like spin wheels uh, they uh, I say oh uh, a lot and it's kinda cringy again you guys should make a compilation of uh, me touching my face and saying, uh, all the fucking time. <sighs> Anyways, these things are activators uh, that'll usually tell you what it is activated. Uh, some of them don't. Uh, some of them just activate something that goes to a secret area. But, uh, you, the depth perception here is kind of off. I can't really see how far away that thing is, so you just kind of have to jump until it's like close enough for it to be in your your view of shit. Ah, uh, flashing lights. But that sound that you're hearing, I'm assuming you're hearing. Uh, I can't hear it because I got the volume turned down, obviously. Uh, that sound you're hearing is uh, you getting near the teleporter, which is the end of the stage. Now, you know... I would do it, but if you just barely clip the edge of that water, it'll kill you. Um, I'm not going to do that because I came so far. No 
no sexual pun intended there. And, uh, you know, basically, like, they, you, they give you little cutscenes like this, and this is the driving factor of the game. Not the fucking rockets, not this storyline. You want to watch these things, because they're cute. You know, he got smashed. But, uh, oh god, we're going for the bonus round. I suck at them. Uh, so, basically, it just automatically makes you hop. Can I touch these? Ah, uh, you can't touch them. I suck at them. I thought I could jump on top of them. I suck at them. Fuck it. But you can get, like, one extra life in there. It doesn't fucking matter. Uh, so I got the flame and the uh, wing of the rocket. I'm gonna save. Call it a day. Alright, so, all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try to fix the frame rate issues in both Rayman and this. I don't know what's going on. Uh, everything worked perfectly, and then it just didn't. So, it's just a, uh, it's just another amount of shit to pile on top of everything that, wants, uh, that just decides to go wrong. So, uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget, hit that like give me a comment please guys like I never say this enough uh, feel free feel free to uh, feel free to drop a comment and tell me how I can do better uh, I need suggestions uh, be do not be afraid to give me game suggestions too if you have a game that you want to see me uh, be terrible at uh, let me know I just comment it and I'll, I will be sure to get to it as soon as I can because obviously I'm just I'm just making playlists and playing like one episode of every game and then I'm just gonna try to like keep a routine of uh, you know try to get a routine of some shit uh, I know I've got all of Mega Man 8 done and most of uh, Rocket League but yeah don't forget give me that sweet sweet succulent subscription and I will see you guys in the next episode when you decide to put the toilet paper on wrong, have a good day.